folks, and welcome back to the Era of Antiquity. I am Mark, the man behind the curtain, and today we're trying again to create the Soviet Union in humankind. Last week we uh, first attempted this, and who can remember how that went? I'm sure, I'm sure everything was was fine. It was probably a great stream. So, uh, for no reason in particular, let's start over uh, this time. Uh, okay, so I think I got everything set up, same as last week. Huge, normal... No, wait, I went from endless to normal. Uh... Ooh, let's do one of these. Reaching the last turn. Uh, maybe last two minutes standing? Yeah, let's just do default, see how that goes. Uh, what else? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay, I think this is good. I don't love how, like, the game ends after 300 turns. That sucks, but, uh, I hear you can just keep playing, so I'll do that, I guess. Okay, so anything else I'm forgetting? No. Ooh, I can select a decoration. I never did that. I guess the, the, this kind of chain thing seems a bit better. All right. Now let's start. So, actually, what happened last time was I played a game of this just to kind of orient myself with the basic mechanics, and I thought I was doing pretty well, but it turns out I just lucked into everything. So when I played a new game and wasn't quite as lucky, uh, I failed immediately. So this time I think I have a bit better understanding of how to actually play, so uh, we'll uh, see how this goes. Or I'll just fail again. Who can say? But I assume I'm going to get that video again kind of soon. The narrator in this isn't quite as clever as he thinks he is. That's what I think. Our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to you. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Well, hopefully further than last time. Also, across the world, oh, okay, we're still talking. Nascent societies are taking a deep breath looking across the landscape and preparing for greatness. Holy shit, that's a good way to start a stream. War Lover 124 back with a bunch of gifted subs. Thank you very much. Very generous of you. And to those of you who are gifted subs, uh, enjoy the emotes. Okay, but as for the actual game, I kind of like our start position. We're near the top. It's cold and miserable, just like Russia. So I'm guessing we'll want to head south find some better places here but uh hey that's kind of interesting some sort of geyser neat okay not much i can really do can't help notice there's not a ton of oh a bunch of geysers that's kind of cool sanctuary just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study 
And just like that, already have enough for my first encampment. But I feel like I should maybe keep looking for a spot to actually put it, because so far, this isn't looking spectacular. What do we got here? So, yeah, man, this is kind of rough. Some goddamn woolly mammoths. Oh, and a deer. All right, let's turn off this auto explorer. We got to kill that deer. Uh, instant resolution. Cool. Got a deer. And got some food out of it. How about that? And yesterday the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain. I kind of doubt that. We're in the Arctic still. The stock swaying in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The ground, the ground, the ground down grain could feed the tribe twice over. But one of the tribal elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flowers, she suggests planting half of them so the grasses may return next summer. It is a curious idea, at odds with the nomadic life, but perhaps a harbinger of the future. Uh... Yeah, I'll grind it up. That grain's not coming back to the, to the Arctic. Yeah, but we should also head down south. Because I am finding ship places to uh, make a city. More deer, though. That's something. All right, let's get that sucker. What happens if your only tribe is killed before we have a settlement? Do I just lose immediately? If that's the case, I should be more careful. All right, we've got a couple potential places. A 15-11 and a 10-15... Huh, that might be okay. Top of like a big plateau. Nah, let's keep looking. I'm in no rush. Your scout comes to you breathless from exertion. Between gasps, he tells you that he spied another tribe not far ahead. He leads you on, and after giving a stop signal, you drop to your bellies and crawl forward in the brush. I had a young woman no more than 13 summers is leading a ceremony. Her audience, a dozen or so equally young or younger tribesmen. Many are crying. Uh, okay, they're in mourning. Great. Uh, welcome them. I need another tribe. Delicious. Beauty. Though next time, it might be better if you washed it first. We did wash it. Shut up. We move. Okay, any good locations around here? 12, 11, nope, that's not great. Fourteen, seven, nope. Fifteen eleven still seems like maybe my best option so far, so let's go more that direction. But hey, the trap's grown. Got two of us now. That's something. Time to kill more deer, I suppose. The mammoths, though, would no, we're gonna uh We're gonna stay away from those suckers. Oh, we got the Nubians. All right, deer killing time. This way. 
And let's also kill deer over here. It's gonna be a real deer massacre on these planes. Cool, all right. Sixteen two, that sucks. All right, let's just keep going this direction, I suppose. Whereas these suckers are going over here to get whatever that is. Some nuts. I kind of like this area. It seems the least crappy. Okay, in the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts up into clear blue skies. Fire! Oh, okay, good call. Calling a few tribes in, you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine growing stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourselves on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze. But even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You are about to direct your men to put out the fires with loose soil. When you see short, shadowed figures running away, youths! They could become part of your tribe if you gave chase now, but that would mean losing the secrets of their construction. What is your choice? Uh, we'll get the always more people, always more people. Uh, remind me later. Although, is there any benefit to waiting to uh, pick a culture? I can't be certain. I think that's the lair. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Seventeen food, six production. Man, not a lot of production in these parts. What about over here? Anything good over here? Ten, seventeen, and fifteen, eleven. Ten, seventeen. That might be a good spot. But I mean, I've barely checked out this area, so there could be better spots out there. This way. Oh, let's keep looking. Although this area visually looks really cool. Maybe that's enough to warrant. Yeah, let's head further south. Let's see what's over there. Okay. People are choosing cultures left and right. I better, uh... Leading to this. Onwards. Seems like an interesting area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still nothing. Wait. Yeah. This way. Got another era star, so that's something. I'm still not 100% sure on how the whole fame system works, but I'll get there, maybe. 15-9, This way. Okay, you stand at a crossroads. For many moons, the tribe has trekked the wilderness, slowly, torturously learning the secrets of this world. How the materials hidden in the deep places and in plain sight might be fashioned at the tribe's advantage. How the beasts and plants of the land and seas can most fruitfully be harvested. And how myths and stories can glacially but inescapably give power over our greatest enemies, other tribes. Now you must decide in what domain the tribe will truly sharpen its knowledge for the ages to come. Okay, makers. Plus one industry. Farmers, plus one food. Or storytellers, plus one science. I'm going to do makers. I like industry. 
And that's like a very Soviet-esque thing to do, I feel, so. I'm on it. Uh -huh. But now I feel it might be the time to pick our thing. And let's go with our old friends, the Phoenicians. Or maybe not, what do I know? Militarist, that seems unnecessary right now. Babylonians. Science and research. Huh. That'll only work if I... I'm going to wait till I actually get my first kind of settlement. Onwards. What's over there? This way. Man, it is tough trekking through this part of the jungle, apparently. But that area is kind of beckoning to me. I just want to know how close I am to the coast. Is that so wrong? Do we got any good parts over here? 815, nope. What about down here? 12... Oh, 1512. 1512 ain't bad. 1512 versus 1511. Interesting. So we actually got a better location over there. Yeah, okay. Moscow, middle of the continent. That kind of fits, right? Let's keep looking just a couple more turns, I think. Until these guys get there, at least. What's over there? Okay, one more turn until we're there. These guys are still just doing whatever. This way. Seventeen six, twelve, eleven. That FOMO is getting to me, but I think this is our place. And I suppose there's something stopping me from taking two places, right? So 15, 12, or 12, 14. Let's do this one. And there it is. Although there really, really is nothing stopping me from just taking another outpost, so... Maybe I didn't need to wait so long, but here we are. Like a coastal settlement would be kind of nice. So I guess I should find the coast again. Oh, and I should also pick a culture, right? Yeah, that never hurts. Phoenicians, no, because I'm not on the coast, so that's pointless. How about Babylonians? I've never tried a science civilization before, so that couldn't hurt. Plus two science per research technologies on capital. Oh, that actually seems kind of good. All right, cool. Born in Babylonia, raised in Moscow, Soviet Union. Just gotta find the coast again over here. All right, what do we got? Violent pursuits. The last winter was especially harsh. The ground hard and the frost chilling to the bone. In the heart of the settlement, the tribe huddled close to share warmth through the coldest days, but for some it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing, and they found a means through violent games, grappling, fighting, contests of strength and endurance. 
One contest where opponents fight with hidebound fists has gained... Okay, so are we legalizing boxing? Encourage, plus 25 experience. Now, forbid. Bountiful, plus 5 food. That seems good. Uh, let's do bountiful. I could use the food. We gotta grow that city. All right, we'll put auto explore back on for those suckers, and we're probably immediately going to find a better spot to build a city. That's just my luck. What's over there? Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. This means more than just markets for the Babylonians. It's also the beginning of mathematics, astronomy, and a set of codified laws that I wouldn't want to be caught breaking. Alrighty. So we're getting places. Still nowhere worth being, though. Oh, let's kick the shit out of this bear, though. <laughs> sucker. Come over here. Okay, anything worth building? Seven and out. They have a certain appeal, the Olmecs. Be careful that your people don't start liking the neighbors more than you. Uh oh, San Lorenzo is very close. Shit. Okay, I should try to seize territory from them before they do that to me. So we're gonna build an outpost right here. By building an outpost, claiming territory is this easy. The trick, of course, is keeping it. Yeah, it was the keeping it that I had trouble with last time. I really like the look of this whole area, aesthetically. I wish it had better bonuses. Did I got to say acknowledged? What year does he think this is? 1980 something? It is not just a bunch of buildings. It is warmth, protection, and, praise the gods, a bit of privacy. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not Babylon. This is Gerstengrad, baby. And we're going to do city growth, and we're going to get a farm. Right there. And we're going to research the calendar. So we can be stressed out about, about getting YouTube videos out on time. Uh, Iwo Kimpai saying, Your city will gain one population if you disband a unit inside the territory of your city. Yes, I'd heard that was a good strategy. Except I never figured out how to disband units. Uh, so let me know how to disband units, and I'll look into that. Like, am I just an idiot? Possibly. Transfer. Oh, there it is. Okay. I just found it. Good work, everybody. Five flower discovered. You've discovered the breathtaking five flower lake. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
we've grabbed two territories already. Already doing better than last time, I think. By what right do we rule? No right, because I don't have enough influence, whatever this is called, to decide that. Who are these guys? The Olmecs? Are we cool with them? I will introduce myself. A thousand welcomes. I am the leader of a great people. I hope you are one who keeps their word. How do you do, whoever you are? Extrovert and hateful? Oh boy. Crusader? Collectionist? Oh boy, this is not good. How would you like a non-aggression pact? Things change, even leaders and empires. Oh, thank God, they're I into it. I have a proposal for you. Fantastic. Like I wrote it myself. Cool. We are getting places. As your horizons widen, your armies grow in lockstep with your ambitions. Do they, though? Now, with military power spread over several regiments, it is time to decide the nature of your soldiers. I can't afford any of this stuff. Why are you telling me this? I don't have 20 influence. What do you think this is? Oh, but our uh, religion is happening. Let's do shamanism. I don't know why, but I like shamanism. And we got the calendar. And we discovered the Danakil Desert. Hell yeah. Is that it? Oh, it looks sweet as shit. Yeah, we need to take that territory. That's our cool. Or that's our cool. That looks cool. So let's kill some deer. All the deer in the world. All right, Kirstengrad. Domestication is next. Animism, is that our religion? What religion am I? Babylonian shamanism? Is that zero? Hmm. Man, people are not into our religion. That sucks. Maybe more faith will help. We need more food. I'm just gonna keep building farmers' quarters and stuff. Okay, as for these guys, they're going to continue the Deer Crusade. Iwo Kimpai saying, build a pottery thing for influence. I thought that gave, uh, I'll look into that one second. Pottery thing. Oh, it does give you influence. That's a good call. All right, right after this farmer's quarter, we're doing that. Six turns. And let's get carpentry. And the Grand Cogitator. Is it true this is your first stream? If so, welcome. Or first time not lurking, apparently. Gerstnagrad has an extra... Pop. Hell yeah. Got an agrarian star. It's all coming together. You love to see it. Keepers of the Creed. An unexpected rivalry has erupted between two temples in Gerstengrad, each representing a different sect of Babylonian shamanism. What? There's like two people who follow our religion. There's already a schism. God, that sucks. One temple argues that religious matters should be left in the hands of dispassionate men, 
Well, the other contends that only women with their capacity for nerve. No, it's everybody. So you're both wrong, you idiots. Because they don't even follow the religion yet. Zero followers in the empire. That sucks. What the hell's going on here? Uh, we're fighting... Oh, a bear again. Shit, lost a unit on that one. That sucks. These guys need to heal up. And maybe city defense? Yeah. This is gonna be like last time where I'm overrun immediately. Something to make our affairs more civil? Yes, anything to not be at war with you, please. Let it be so. We have to do this again. <laughs> yes, we do. And next up, let's get... Well, fishing's not going to help us too much. Maybe masonry? Irrigation. Let's do irrigation. A public fountain will serve us well. As will an astronomy house, I suppose. I wish I could build it on top of a mountain. That would be cool. Okay, but what is, like, the synergy here? Counts as farmer's quarter. Oh, okay. So I do want it to be next to my other farm stuff. Cool. So I build it right there. Although I feel like building an astronomy house in a goddamn cavern isn't a great spot for that. Hmm. That sucks. Oh well, that's where it's going. Look at that, getting more science. Getting random shit. Although these guys are not long for the world. Let's get them back to Gerstengrad so they can heal up. This person's gone way too far south. Let's get them back up top two. Okay. Now we're humming. Ah, uh, someone else found Lake Bacal. 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 Not much to do but hand, hit and turn, as you do. Their city has more population than mine. I find this very annoying. Off we go. And now you've met the Mycenaeans. Let's hope relations go well. Their forts are rather formidable. Ah, oh, but they're next to what's his face, so I don't have to worry about them too much. Hello. This is where I greet you. Impress upon you the wonder of my people? And tell you my ambitions? No? Maybe? <laughs> Alright. How about we have an non-aggression pact? The world $58? Is opportunities, Hell no. Is it... What do they think they are? Your proposal is too much of a ball and chain. Look at that, Grad humming along. You love to see it. 
Fate of the Free Cities, whatever. Oh. Yeah, we can trade luxuries. This choice sticks in my throat, but I am forced to accept. And what this about a non-aggression pact? Fifty-three dollars. Nope. Despite your good intentions. Uh, R two D two fan saying, "Comrade Commissar, would it not be time to seize the Five Flowers Lake?" Uh, I'd love to, except I am really far away and I don't have the influence to grab any new territories at the moment. I think I need more than I have right now. I'll check in a couple turns here. We got two territories. So we're not doing terribly. That was maybe a mistake. I right, will see. A first visible mark of this new culture. I hope the style is pleasing, because it will be around for as long as the city lasts. Irrigation, great. Next up, fishing. No, that's the worthless. Bronze working. Masonry first. Yeah, let's do masonry. Alright, and that fountain, public fountain. Yes. No, yeah, two plus two food on river, that's pretty good. What do I need? Do I need stability? I sure don't. So let's do flood irrigation. Do. What the hell are these guys doing? Alright, so now I gotta disband my units inside the city, get extra pops, then we're singing, maybe. Disband. Look at that, six pops. And do we go for seven? Nah, let's seal this guy up. We'll wait here. Okay. Arcturus is looking pretty good. Should I always link uh, a territory to a city if there's nothing really else going on? Like, I guess I could make this into its own... I don't know, I'm a little... not entirely sure what to do about this. Currently at one out of two cities, and I'm not sure if I want both my cities to be right next to each other, so I'd love to settle something up north somewhere like over here. Maybe by the five flowers. Bloody and smelly, aren't they? History may be changed by uh -oh. battles. But that doesn't mean they're enjoyable. Uh, I'll do manual, but I have no idea how to fight, so we'll see how this goes. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Well, let's hope I'm making a good choice here. So if I fight on the river, I'm going to get something out of it. Uh, defensive bonus against missiles. Off we go. Yeah! 
Shit, bow and arrows. That's no good. I shouldn't have put those guys there. Ooh, shit. All right, that was dumb. I'm an idiot. Oh wait, do they just take that? Is that how this works? I got a goddamn chariot? I think I'm fucked. I should have auto-resolved this. Huh. Alright, let's try it. Okay, that was this is this is a disaster. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. For your families. I need archers. That's what I'm learning. Well, the important thing is they died for nothing. Oof. All right, get out of there, boyo. Get the fuck out of there. I'm just going to attach this to Gerstengrad. I don't see any reason not to. Now we're up to 10 citizens. Yeah, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Get the fuck out of there. These guys are right next to me, too. I could try to become their patron, but I don't know. Got a bunch of money. Maybe I'll just spend a couple bucks getting me to the next thing. So they won't attack me. Yeah, that'll be good enough for now. I got masonry. Uh, okay, I want to grab this territory. 16 plus 2, that is a shit production, but, uh... I don't know, this will just be like Ukraine. It'll be the farmland. Temple of Artemis, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Temple of Artemis wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But I'm also Babylon, aren't I? When I have to build this on a luxury resource, which I don't really have any nearby. And this gives me faith. So let's do Temple of Artemis. 250 to claim, though. Nah, fuck that. I need to claim territories, not wonders. So our territory is growing somewhat. We'll stay here. Cool. 
Oh shit, the food situation's not looking great. Hopefully flood irrigation is gonna fix that. But just in case, let's build another farm, shall we? To harness the power of water itself in order to feed your people. That should make you popular. Yeah, it also fixed the whole issue. Okay, cool. Got a pretty big city going on here. This is pretty sweet. I suppose I should build some units at some point, right? But I think I'd rather have the production until, like, an actual kerfuffle starts. Right now I'm at peace with the only folks next to me, so... Yeah, so, I'm not gonna get that wonder yet. I want territories, territories, territories. Shit! Oh, those are the guys who I am not a... Okay, I should have bribed them. Maybe I still can. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Yeah. Fuck, I'm nowhere near to being able to bribe them. God damn it. Okay, that was a waste of money. Who the hell am I fighting here? And how come it doesn't tell me? Oh, I'm fighting bears, okay. Uh... I'll just hole up in this forest, I guess. Oh shit, this is actually working. No fear. I am Zukov. Look at that shit. Amazing. They said it couldn't be done. We're over here. Let's grab this territory, shall we? Got ah, writing. Things that one generation learned can be passed to the next via something more reliable than campfire stories. Bro, what do you got against campfire stories? And oh, let's get the wheel. How about that? Time to get the hell out of Dodge over here. These guys want a smile to my face. Did you want something? What am I what am I uh missing here? Not aggression pact? Hail friend. I have a notion which would benefit us both. Oh shit, they're not into it. Now you have my attention. I'm gonna demand a thing. You will do this for me, won't you, lapdog? Whoa. You cockroach! Okay, I the uh, the diplomacy has failed. <laughs> No one saw this coming. And god damn it, everyone's into animism. Like anime, the religion, is that what that is? You know what, let's keep pushing towards the other coast. You guys just uh, heal up. Oh, we're super good with these guys. And what about these dicks? Okay, kind of there, that's something. I'm a little confused, though, because I only paid to increase my standing with them twice, so does it... 
Like, uh, oh, plus four over turn. For how many turns? Forever? Don't care about wonders. How many times must I say it? Grab this place next, I suppose. Resources wise, we got salt, we got saffron, we got silver, we got mercury, we got silver again, we got salt, copper. I don't actually know how to exploit resources when I'm not using that special ability. And also, I forgot to use this. What the hell does this do? To build stuff. I don't need a lot of science right now. I don't think. Did anyone ever tell you how ugly you are? Uh, let's withdraw our demands. We're gonna back down. Things change. I withdraw my demands. See, you can behave. Hey, shut up, man. What a dick. These uh, who are they? Whoever they are, Macedonians. Oh, they declared war on the Olmex. Maybe I should help the Olmex because I hate them. The ma the other guys. Okay, land of the dead. For hundreds of years, the dead of Gerstengrad have been laid to rest in burial sites within or close to the city's borders. Now, however, with a fast-rising population and many dying every moon, these sites are becoming overcrowded. Future burials could lead to disease. Blah, 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 blah. Cremation or bury. What, what does this do? So, plus 10 food or plus 10 industry. Uh, I don't know. Cremate, I guess. I think the bigger issue is that my allies, well, not my allies, my friends are worthless those guys I hate, so I should really support my buddy here. How does this day... The world is full of new opportunities, is it not? They don't want an alliance either? Proposal. Okay, what if I, uh... Sorry, you're not getting out of this that easy. The world is full of... Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would talk... Okay, what about... Hmm. I need to get eyes. But I can't go inside their territory. Okay, you know what? Fuck them. They want to fight each other, I'm not going to get involved. But I do really hope that the uh, guys I hate don't win, because that'd be disastrous. We're just gonna work on our bronze working, see if I care. And what the hell is Gerstengrad gonna do? Maybe science, House of Scribes. But industry would also be. Oh, we got lots of industry. Uh, oof, but let's do stability. We need that public fountain. I've been talking about that public fountain for a thousand years, and we're finally doing it. Uh, Zuetmit, name I can't pronounce, saying, what is the difficulty setting? Uh, normal, I think? Whatever the, the mid-ground is. Not easy nor hard. Zui is how you pronounce it. Got it. Zui, but there's a T at the end and an M. How do you get a... All right, I'm not going to judge. We're fighting bears, so we got bigger fish to fry. I guess I'll, I don't know, stick on the high ground. For your family. Huzzah. Wait, was I not trying to claim this territory? Yes, I was. There we go. 
Looking pretty sweet over here. I feel like I should also try to grab the coast. I wonder how much influence I need for that, though. claim this territory, I get the copper, and I guess copper is good. Probably need it for bronze stuff. And we got bronze. Forge, watchtowers, Sabu Sakasti. Cool name. Don't know what it means. Organized warfare or philosophy. Let's do philosophy. We need to philosophize, baby. Okay, and I can claim this territory, but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot worth claiming. 15 plus 8. Maybe there's something better to the shore. Okay, I need 175 to claim this place and... Huh, maybe no influence. Oh, 125, okay, I see. I don't know, I keep exploring over here. Oh, shoot, we got some classical era stuff, and I am nowhere near classical era. I guess I need to try to get my shit together here. What I'm interested in, <clears throat> when I try to claim a territory, it'll show me a suggestion of where best to put it. But is the suggestions for the entire area, or do I need to explore down here for... Or no, I guess it doesn't need to do that. Okay, never mind. 8, 11, or 15. Kind of want to establish it there. Is that so wrong? Uh, yeah, I want to control the coast, so I'm going to ignore this game and just expand there. And if that's a terrible idea, well, then I'll just die again. Meanwhile, Gerstengrad... Archers, maybe? That's looking... Let's do lumber yards. Fuck it. <sighs> Goddamn animeism. I hate it, Jacques. I hate it. Holy shit, San Lorenzo got fucked. Is everybody fighting those guys? What's going on with these guys? Oh, hey, look at that. We're friendly, but they distrust me. can assimilate them once they get 200 influence. Okay, let's work towards that. Because then I get all their shit, do I not? 
A game of prophecy, with the Empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land, beguiles the population. Everywhere you go, the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye, insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under instruction in your palace court. But the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination. Uh, silence! Or defiant, or superstitious. Eh, let's overlook it. This is dumb. I just built that fountain, so our stability is just fine. Oh, okay. Doing a bit better on stars. The Grand Cogitator saying, ignore the bourgeoisie superstition. Damn straight, damn straight. We got philosophy going on now. We don't need this shit. But another era star. Man, we are just pumping those out all of a sudden. Meanwhile, our religion's really not, <laughs> really not uh, taken off. I should have built one of those uh, faith buildings, I guess, but hmm. It would have been nice to have a popular religion, but uh, I don't know. Ooh, an aqueduct. Now let's finally do fishing. We finally have a coastal city, so. All right, fuck it, let's build the stone circle. Somewhere cool, somewhere really cool. Maybe there, that's kind of interesting. I feel like it needs to be on a hill. Ooh, maybe right there. That seems like vaguely appropriate for a stone circle. Now let's do there, I like that area. All right, building the goddamn stone rings. I hope everyone's happy. Yeah, I think it's a cool spot. Not that it's helping so far. But hey, we got fishing. Ooh, sailing, I like sailing. Let's do sailing. Ooh, I can make a harbor? That's cool as shit, let's do that. I didn't know I could do that without a, uh, what do you call it, without a um, city Your there. Your first harbor gives access to endless expanses of the vast blue seas, great voyages and discoveries. That's really cool, okay. Should have done this ages ago. Let's just hope this ocean goes somewhere and we just didn't make a harbor in a giant lake. Oh, and we're still discovering wonders, even now. Ain't that nice. But where's my stone circle, damn it? What's this mean? One city is participating in your... Oh, okay, that's fine. And the Britannian, thank you for following. Welcome to the Templin Institute. Oh, what do we got now? Two bears? Like, do the bears work together? What the hell is this? Do I have any high ground whatsoever? Ah, shit, out of nowhere. Into the forest, bears hate trees. Come on. Ugh, that's gonna hurt. We got it. Uh, let's gamble. Okay, I. It's a draw. That was cool, though. Holy shit! <laughs> I 
should I make this into a city? I kind of want to. Like a good harbor city. But it also wouldn't hurt to keep expanding. I could claim this area, get that copper I've been talking about. Let's check out that area. Gerstengrad also has 15 pops, that's crazy. Zoe saying, why not assimilate, or Zoe or Zoe? Why not assimilate for 20 influence more? That's a good point. We could assimilate these dorks. Um, I don't know. I, I just kind of want to grab as much territory as I can before these guys do, before San Lorenzo. Like, I don't love how they have this area here. That sucks. Like, I'd love to grab that area. That's kind of cool. And I think having a good harbor city is also kind of promising. I think. Yeah. I'll apologize later, but I think I'm going to make this into a cool harbor city that everyone likes. Unless someone can give me an idea of why that's a terrible thing to do really quickly. Ah, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And let's get fishery. Or a workshop. Maybe more influence. Let's start with the, the this thing on the plaza. And then I'd also love to grab that territory right there and connect that sucker. Because that did wonders for Gerstengrad. And look at that, we got sailing. Ooh, Gerstengrad's population is falling. Okay. Are we hitting the limit of what we're able to do here? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to start making some archers and whatnot, right? We've been lucky that we have a pretty peaceful land these days. Organized warfare. Fuck it, let's uh, look into that. New Civic. We'll look into that later. Unless I can afford any of these smaller ones now. Founding Myths. Oh, this only costs 16 bucks. Great. Uh, natural right. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. Legitimacy. We've been here. It's our place. Uh, codified. Just imagine. Once you discover writing, you Beauty. can literally throw the book at them. I hope my religion can take off in a later age. thing done yet? Yes, it is. And we got organized warfare. Huzzah! Is our faith, like, finally doing anything? K ah, two turns! Hell yeah! We're finally ridding the world of anime. You love to see it. What next? What next? Well, we're taking a dive on food, so how about more food districts? Ooh, shit, plus 17. I'll take that. Hydrology. Yeah. We got rivers. Let's do it. Sipar needs to be renamed to, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Leningrad. Uh, 
I don't want to tempt fate here, and I want Leningrad to be cool. So is this the right city to be Leningrad? I don't know. I'm just going to build this f fishery. Meanwhile, what the hell is Kirstengrad up to? Building another farmer's quarter. But after that, I want... Uh... Let's not mess around. Let's get some warriors. How about... Yeah. That seems good to me. Cats are ferrets, always cats. Not to uh, paint with a broad brush, but anyone I've ever met or seen online who's like really into ferrets is always a weirdo, so cats, and I'm not even a cat person. I say this as someone who doesn't really like cats. And I might actually like ferrets more if the people who owned them weren't just so weird all the time. Hey, we're finally Babylonian shamanism. Can I rename that religion? Cause that sucks. Yeah, we're going state atheism. There it is. Cool. <laughs> Danger Noodle, great name by the way, saying music in this game is nice. Yeah, it is. And I discovered a forest that I can't pronounce. Oh shit, it's right next to us. That's pretty good. What's going on over here? Alright, let's uh, assimilate these fuckers. It's possible they're at war with these guys, in which case... How can I even tell? Uh, let's leave it a turn. If they attack each other, maybe I'll assimilate them, just to... With five farmers' quarters, the people certainly have enough bread. Okay, now I guess we're still Will fine. five circuses be built next? Wait, so can Gerstengrad have two cities attached to it? Help me out here. So right now... Uh, whatever this place is called... Is attached to Gerstengrad. So can I also attach this place to Gerstengrad? Uh, so can I have two outposts on one city, or is it only one at a time? Uh, yeah, I mean, let's try it, and if this goes really bad, then... We're still good? Hey, we're still- we're still good! Or did I not press the right button? There it is, okay. Oh shit, our food is dying! Oh god, that was a mistake! Uh, fuck! Probably shouldn't have done that. It might be time to detach that. <laughs> Just wasted a ton of influence. Crap. Wait, Gerstner Grad's still at minus 63. Is it not going to kick in until next turn? Yeah, this is all full. Everything's full. Okay, just 
start exploring, guys. I don't have time to mess with you right now. Okay. So what the hell happened here? We're still at minus 50. I don't quite get this. I thought my population exploded because I attached this place. Uh, was I losing food before I attached it? That seems to have screwed me up even though I've unattached it. I don't get it. Okay, uh, well, let's choose a new era. Let's get the hell out of here. Carthaginians. Oh, could go Romans. But I kind of want to just, uh, let's do Carthaginians. Oh, minus 25% on all constructibles buyout costs. I do like that because I got some money right now. The Goths are also kind of cool. What are the Romans all about? Everyone's saying go Rome. <laughs> Alright, well if chat wants Rome, uh, Zoe or Zoe saying first build an astronomer's house. I already have one. Alright, Rome as it is. Okay, I gotta figure out what happened there, because... Okay. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish, as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggled to control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble their stability. Though the Romans did indeed appreciate intangibles, I might be tempted to say that their most famous creation was their legions, which were very tangible indeed. So tangible, baby. So tangible. Oh, and Zoe saying, or Zoe uh, saying, you can build an emblematic district in every attached territory, so you could have first built... Oh, okay, that's on me. Okay, but help me out here. So, from what I remember, Gerstengrad was doing okay. Maybe it wasn't, I wasn't actually paying attention. But then I attached Alia, that destroyed my food production, because I had new citizens. But then I detached Alia, but I still had the same number of citizens, I think. I'm a little confused about that. But uh, I need a shit ton of farms. Oh, and I can't even afford to buy him. All right, well, we are going to be starving for a while. Off we go. Ooh, expansionist. Target another empire's outpost or administrative center with an army to forcibly add it to your empire. Interested. Let's try to take this northern territory, actually. That's kind of interesting. I don't know how the process works, but I'd love to try it out. Oh, so when I attached it, all the citizens moved from there to here, and they didn't move back when I detached it. All right. Understood. Well, that's on me. But hey, let's get another territory, because I like territories. Also, a Templin bot spitting out some nonsense. Uh, let me try to fix that real quick, because that's weird. I don't think he was even doing that 
during the Age of Empires 2 stream, and now all of a sudden it's still able to go watch Darren's stream? What's that about? Sorry, folks, that's just a little weird. Ah, you know what, I'll fix it later, but just ignore that. Darren is not currently streaming, or if he is, he's not in this stream. Oh, what the hell's going on over here? We're fighting those guys? Okay, well... Get the hell out of there. How's Leningrad doing? Nice, they're just uh, sticking with it. Living it up. The food shortage of Gerstegrad is still murdering everybody. I could instantly buy this, which might be helpful in the long term. Now we'll give it a couple more turns, see how this, see how this goes. Oh, Algol, thank you for coming in and fixing that. Good on ya. Very much appreciated. You're doing the Lord's work. Tell you what. Although, surely if I forcibly take their territory, that's really gonna piss them off, right? Converting to Romans in four turns. So, apparently, I, a territory of the Marians, whatever they're called, is in my sphere of influence. So what the hell does that do? Like, can I eventually absorb this? I mean, I assume with the, uh, the army ability that the Romans have, right? Alright, the Sands of Time. Recently, traveling across an antique desert land and influence of the Empire, I came across a curious sight. Two vast and trunkless legs of stone. Oh shit, this is that goddamn poem. Uh. Os Osmandius, right? Look upon my works, ye mighty in despair. Nothing beside remain, just endless sand, something or other. This image still haunts you to this day. Whoever raised the civilization is now forgotten. Andy and all of their achievements gone, even their name lost to the winds. Today you reign supreme, the most famed leader in the world. Am I, though? And yet you will still be remembered in a century, a millennium, okay, whatever. So how to become immortal? Preach, write, or venerate? Uh... That's just too bountiful. I need the food, goddammit. Okay, so there's their settlement. Clearly, I do need to take that somehow. Okay, yeah, and we're allies with them. But should I still be allies with them? You want me to listen? I got better things. Whoa, that's kind of a dick move. Is there any way to tell like who they're at war with currently? Let's keep this con I guess they're at peace with these guys. Okay. I might break our alliance and steal their territory. Is that so wrong? Is that not what the Romans would do? Am I not merciful? Alright, but the great food shortage of Gerstengrad continues. Hopefully not for another turn or so, though. You're at minus 13. And... Maybe less money, more food. 
Okay. And Leroy the Pole would like Leroy Grad. Absolutely. I don't think I have anything that I can rename at the moment, but we're gonna add Leroy Grad. I might add a bit of a bit more Russian flair to that, like Leroy Ski Grad, maybe? Something like that? What do you what do you reckon? Leroy Ski. Yeah, I think that'd be that would work kinda well. State atheism, fuck yeah, I can get a tenant. Plus two stability on rivers, that seems good. Plus one influence on mountains, that might be good. Smite the unbelievers, nah. Abstain from intoxicants. Reject the seas, or no, respect the seas bounties. Yeah, I, I kinda like that. Okay, what is, what is, uh, oh, reject luxury. Yeah, that's communist shit. We gotta do that, right? Reject luxuries? I have to do this. Excellent. Cool. Okay, how the hell do I actually build stuff on my luxury resor resources? I've never really been clear about that. Do I just like go there and click a button or do I need to do something on the city? Market quarter, artisan's quarter. What do I actually do? All right, well, I guess it's not that. And Silent Brad resubscribed for uh, another month here. And you've been subscribed for a total of nine months. Thank you very much. Iwo Kimpi saying, I need a city artisan court, or is that how that works? New grievance available. With who? I hope it's with the, these guys. Yes, greetings. Propose alliance. Oh no, we didn't have an alliance, that's right. Okay, um... You're oppressing my atheism. No one abuses my people without consequences. Oh shit, wait, no, I don't want war. Territory, that's the only way you can appease me. This is a farce. Uh, let's break the non-aggression pact. How do I do that? I won't tolerate your games anymore. Our treaty is... All right. Now we're going to try to seize this place. By force. All right, well, hopefully that's gonna work. A schism in the heart. Followers of the Empire's religion continue to grow, but within the temples and holy places, tensions brew. Sadly, the blossoming interpretations of religious tenets is leading to schisms as worshippers place more or less important on different rules. Okay. Religious tolerance. Open-minded. Yeah, we're open-minded as shit. But I want to save my influence, so we'll be open-minded later. Meanwhile... In Leningrad. Let's grow the city. Let's get an arch. And we need an arch in Gerstengrad too, immediately after this farm stuff's done. Yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, okay, let's not worry about that. And actually, let's, uh, annex these guys, I guess. Oh, shit. There's two other places over here. I don't like that. That's kind of my, I need this area. Fuck it, let's annex them. An independent people has been added to your empire. Damn straight they have. They may seem small, but great things can come from small beginnings. And let's celebrate that by disbanding their army and adding it to the population. Yes, sir. 
Cool, and they got horses out of that deal. And Saffron. So now we're living, baby. We are living. Give up territory or get buried under it. They're demanding shit. My time and yours. They want shit. I will refuse. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious name. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna need to protect Leningrad because it's right on the front lines if shit goes down, but uh Let's get rid of these scouts. Let's add archers. And let's add this army over here to Leningrad. Get it on the border. Oh, we could also attach uh, Alnia to this place. Oh, we need a name. We were going to call this uh, Le... 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 How do you spell Leroy? I can figure this out. Hold on. Uh, Le Leroyski. Maybe just Leroyski. Leroyski? Leroyski grad? Alright, good enough. And what's this place looking like? I'm seeing research quarter, commons quarter, horse ranch. I'm not seeing any farms. Yeah, this place needs food. Meanwhile, Ala has a bunch of food, so I could attach it to something. Yes, no. Oh, it's only gonna cost 24. Okay, if this is a disaster, we'll worry about it later. Ah, it seems like that worked out well. It's more food, more industry. Cool, all right. And have we defeated anime yet? Oh, we're totally defeating anime. And are we taking over the city? Like, what's happening here? Oh, five turns. Okay, great. Standing army, trade expedition. Let's do trade. The descendant of kings, a filthy, wretched man, has come to your empire, claiming to be a descendant of one of your ancient rulers of Leroyski Grad. Without fear, in front of your whole court, he boldly tells you that his people are owed great restitution for the grave offenses you carried out against his ancestors. However, he is willing to forgo this redress on condition he fulfill the divine prophecy and let him lead Leroyski Grad. He promises that fulfilling the prophecy will see riches come to the city. Uh. Plus, uh, let's uh, belittle him. Yeah, fuck that. And if it turns out that guy was Jesus or something, uh, <laughs> well, that's on me. What do we got here? Shit. 
We're being ransacked. Oh, that's somewhere else there. Okay, uh... Leroyski grad, let's get... What is the emblematic unit for the Romans, and how come I can't build it? I'm still using uh, the Sabu C whatevers. Gonna attack me, right? Talk, though I'd as soon see you bleed as speak. What about these you guys? Again. You are so very needy. They're aggressive. Oh boy. Hail, friend. I have a notion which would benefit us both. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I'm thinking walls aren't going to hurt. All right, let's buy a little walls. Cool. All right. And Gerstengrad is finally has food again, so let's build an, build an arch to celebrate. Right there. I'm thinking maybe this army's better off over here, though. In case shit goes down, because that army has a strength of 84. Holy shit, we're fucked. Okay, how do I build Roman legions? Asking for a friend. Not that I even have the copper I need. I need copper bad. Fortification. Oh, standing army, maybe? That would make a lot of sense. Like, I don't automatically get it, though. That okay, that's... Yeah, that's probably it. Those guys are interested in this place. Alright, we gotta fortify Leroyski grad. Yeah, I think we do. Alright, let's get a garrison right there. On the hill. Finish the farmer's quarters first, though. All right, once the arch is done, we're gonna switch to building units, I think. Leningrad's almost done. The whatevers feel differently about me. They are now aggressive. Yes, greetings. I hope Shit. you don't mind if I stare. Probably because I'm about to steal their place. Oh, because I just did steal it. Well... They shouldn't have mouthed off like that. Can I connect it to Leningrad? Yes. Cool. What does Leningrad need? Leningrad needs animal barns. I don't know. Fishmonger. A garrison, perhaps.
Now we need to build up industry. Let's do uh, stoneworks. Now let's do water mill. Maybe just a maker's quarter. Oh, and how's that arch looking? Oh, it looks pretty sweet. Okay, cool. Good work, everybody. Okay. That army's making me nervous, though, tell you what. Yes, Commander. Fields of plenty. Oh, industrial production. That seems important. Let's look into that. Nationalized, always. National control of vital products and resources, paradoxically, could provide more freedom and autonomy. Yeah, it could. I mean, you can't claim it won't. I get a lot of influence, though. I should start seizing more territories. Let's keep moving... Unlock City Watch and Swordsman. So, Raid, Horseman, Conquest. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Imperial Power, Praetorian Guards. Let's go down that line. Oh man, I've been really, like, not paying attention to those stars. Uh, all right, there's copper up there, so let's grab the copper. Oh shit, Leroyski grads mutinous. That's no good. And Loop Guru, I think. Thank you for following. All right, Grisnagrad, let's quit mucking about. We need... Oh shit, I can't actually make any good military units. Okay, back to mucking about. Let's get more stability. Let's get an aqueduct in there. Meanwhile, where the hell is the iron? There is some um, right there. How do I exploit this? I wish I was uh, an ex uh, merchant sieve. Over this way. Okay, so to exploit that, I would need to do what? Maker's Quarter? No. Artisan's Quarter? Yes. Okay, no, wait. So it's that for that. Is it... Uh... How do I get resources? Oh, Iron Mine. Ha! No one saw that coming. All right, I'm figuring stuff out. They said I would never, but uh, I kind of am. Meanwhile, Leningrad still needs more food, I think. An army's lost at sea? Where the hell did these guys go? Okay, they're all the way over there. That's good for them, I guess. All right, so I got iron now. And let's just keep uh, this train rolling. All right, the last of their line. A troubling truth has emerged regarding the great stable Malakabus Megalopolis. 
Oh, stable? St okay, whatever. Many servants from the city's palace have been castrated at the command of the local ruler. These eunuchs are believed to be more loyal, and they are said to play a number of roles, from courtier to singer to guard. Uh... Except... Ah, oh, man, their stability is already kind of bad. Uh, this is fucked, so... I gotta do it. Honor demands it. Oof, that's stability, though. Okay, but we're still doing all right. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, those guys feel differently about me. They are now yes, hate-filled. greetings. I hope you don't mind if I stare. Well, fuck. Okay, boss, one more territory claimed. Let's keep moving south and get this one next. Gerstengrad is never going to finish that aqueduct because we got a bunch of things to do. Oh, except I no longer can, apparently. So I guess they will get the aqueduct. Your people see it as a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. Leroyski Grad is going to need what? Uh, archers? Swordsman! That's what's up. I don't suppose I can upgrade my current warriors to swordsman, can I? I totally can. Great. So they're now up to 43 against 84, but this thing is 30. So, okay, we're evening the odds a bit here. Leningrad needs what? A fishmonger. Or a lumber yard. Oh, its stability sucks ass. It needs a public fountain. Oh, so the Grand Cogitator. <laughs> I did not see your comment. Looks like the means of reproduction have been seized. Uh, yes. For the good of everybody. We got our Stalingrad. And we've almost made it to the five flowers. The first ship is a wonderful thing. Sadly for the crew, we're likely to see the first seasickness as well. Leroyski Grad, let's get more soldiers, I suppose, right? Should I move them to the garrison? Oh shit, they're in the medieval era, and I am nowhere close to the medieval era. Okay, I gotta focus on how the fuck to get stars. I need... Destroy eight military units. Okay, I'm almost getting assigned to star. I need a lot more money. Need more districts. And more population. Okay, so I'm not that far off from a bunch of these. Right. We're going to claim more territory. As you do. You still remember the filthy, stinking man who promised to curse the Empire should you reject his demands. You remember his blazing eyes, too, as you ridiculed him, the whole court laughing. Now, whether it was by his hand or not, war has come to the Empire. The people believe he did indeed curse them, and now there is unrest in all cities. There's no war? What are you talking about? 
Oh shit, we're also converting San Lorenzo to state atheism. Hell yeah, I like that. Man, state atheism really took off. But uh, the stability is taking a bit of a hit here. So let's get uh, an aqueduct. That'll fix things. And Gerstengrad. Maybe we should really work on science. I haven't done much science stuff at all. Yeah. We'll start with the House of Scribes. One, one, three point three per turn. I feel like I can do better. But Leroyski grad, uh, we probably got enough. So let's get back to, I don't know, farming. Get more pops in there. Oh yeah, look at that, 95 versus 84, eat shit. We are doing just fine. Taking more territories, you'll love to see it. Look at that, Russia kinda looks like Russia. I kind of want to turn this place into our Stalingrad. Maybe later. Oh shit, not, okay, I just realized I should be doing a lot of this stuff. I am an idiot. Hey, but it's my first time playing this game kind of correctly, so. Give me a break. I can build another, there, another harbor? That's kind of cool. Oh, nope, I already did it. So. Let's get it. Right there looks good. I would build it right there, but I hate having a river go through my harbor. It looks dumb. Okay. We're getting places. The stars are coming in. They've aligned, you might say. Slaves? Not in my communism. Wait, I have to have slaves? Uh... I guess criminals? Seems like the least shitty... I hope you don't start altering law enforcement practices just to get your production quotas filled. Nah, 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 probably not. An autark? Do we do the dictatorship route? Religious rights. Uh. Don't want to waste all our stuff. We got other fish to fry. Mostly taking territory. Oh, I also haven't claimed any wonders in a while. The Colossus of Rhodes. would it cost to claim that 250 nah I'm going for the Kremlin and I'm letting nothing distract me
and we're also gonna grab this place. The first calendar, the invention of the calendar heralded a glorious day in the empire's history. Now with two major cities and numerous farming affairs needed to harmonize, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Do we like the sun or do we like the moon? The sun, obviously. I always thought worshiping the sun made a lot of sense. Giant ball in the sky. Glows, it's hot. Why not worship it? All right, production's doing pretty okay. What about the market quarter? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, that's because I'm industry in Gerstengrad. Your empire becomes one of the giants, astride the globe. Aha. And what will you do with this power? I was ransacked. That won't do. I think I've been ransacked for a while, actually. Oh shit, they burned down what I wanted Stalingrad to be. That's unacceptable. Okay, this is no good. Wait, what the hell's happening here? Oh, shit. Okay, who the hell's been doing this? Why is it so hard to tell who's attacking me? The defender versus the attacker. Who is the attacker? Why does it not tell me? Probably these jerks. All right, this won't stand. Raise the legions, baby. It'll take five turns over there, but it'll take three turns over here. And let's get fortifications. Any wonder can be claimed, the Colossus. Leningrad. Oh, I kind of like this. Can I build a boat? Let's build a boat, see what's out there. Once the boat's done. Some Praetorian guards. At the catch. Look at that. We got a boat. You love to see it. Fortifications, hell yeah. Oh, it's happening. Oh shit! It's both of them. Bring back the boat. Leningrad. You have marched out your first emblematic unit. Congratulations. Do try to keep them alive. And let's get some walls. We are switching to war footing, baby. This is no good. Raise the legions. Mounted Warfare, that might be good. 
Siege tactics. Yeah. God, I hope this isn't a disaster. Oh, shit. Oh, and we got shit over here, too. Shit, shit, shit. All right, time to kick some ass, I think. Legion versus Oh, okay, some javelin guys and whatnot. Uh I guess we'll just see how this goes. Don't exactly have a lot of room to fight here, do I? doing these mountains might save my ass tell you what people please there it is that's what I like to see For javelin throwing, isn't it? Oh, I wish they weren't targeting my <laughs> my legion. Oh no! Come on, give me a break. Two archers, though. Jesus, they're doing some work. Huh. Can I, like, try flanking them or something? No, I'll just... As long as they're attacking those guys and not my, uh, legion. doing. God, they got a lot of stuff. Oh, the battle's continuing next turn. Okay, I gotta get stuff over there. Lickety split. help at all? 
apparently not. On vigil. Oh, and Leroyski read his mutinous. Shit, this is a disaster. Well, what's gonna help with mutinous? Oh, fountain. We didn't have a fountain. That's what's killing us. Cannot be done as the re. Man, the tooltips in this game kind of are lame. So I can't reinforce. That sucks. I'm doing whatever. They're taking some hits. This ain't all bad. Just keep trying to hurt him, I guess. We don't think we can do that. Oh, I should have done this thing with those guys, shouldn't I? Okay. Well, I'm learning. So I'm not able to reinforce a battle. Is that what I'm hearing? Wages. Now is the time to look into that. Paid wages. If an army wants reliable soldiers, they had best provide a reliable income. Okay, I don't think Leroyski Grad is entirely mutinous anymore. Gersten Grad's making the those things. So there's no way to reinforce. That kind of is lame. Cannot be done as the reinforcement tile position is occupied. Where is the reinforcement tile position? What does that mean? I don't get it. It's like the plus icon to deploy your units. Where is the plus icon? Nah, eh, whatever. I can't do anything there. Boat's also stuck. Okay, well. Throwing shit at me, please. 
It's very annoying. Quite get how that works. Turn this around, I think. I just need them to keep attacking my walls. No more reinforcements, though. Alright, a couple screw-ups, but, uh... I still don't know what they mean by the reinforcement style. That's why I was holding the legions in, res in reserve there. That's good. Oh shit. Again with those people. Okay, this Roman Legion gets like. We need to name them. The 89th Legion. Holy shit, though. Okay, we got another one over here. But this time, I think we're gonna win. I guess I just do instant on this one. Nah, I need to get better at this, so. Crazier. Here we go. Let's get up. Praetorians are doing some work. Oh, shit, they're all the way over there. Uh, okay. Uh, Milfunkel saying, you can auto this if you want to. Yeah, I think I'd probably win, but I want to learn combat a bit more because I'm not doing great. I'm 
slowly getting kind of a handle on it, but... Oh, the reinforcement title must be the city tile, I guess, then? Or am I looking at that wrong? It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Or is it this one here with the little uh, things? Cool. There it is. Jackasses. Cool. All right, it's time to heal those guys up. And then we're going to march on San Lorenzo. Okay. I need siege of some kind, but I don't think I've even researched that yet. So instead, let's just do more Praetorian guards. And arrow dudes. Yeah, there's barbarians all over the place, so we really got to start militarizing and kicking the shit out of everybody. So can this ship do anything? I always like using ships to as siege weapons and Civ. Oh god, again? Damn it. Oh shit, the ship can do something, right? It cannot attack a land target. Okay, well that's pointless. So the ship is just there, is it? Okay, now here we go. Charge. Surely I can do something to this boat. Yeah, that was a little underwhelming. Next turn it is. Still don't quite understand how this works. It cannot be done as it's not my turn. I 
feel like I have a lot of reinforcements nearby that could solve this. So where the hell is the reinforcement tile? That's the one thing I don't get. Reserve armies appear during battle. If one of your armies is nearby, you can add reserve armies by moving your armies inside the battlefield. Except I can't move them inside the battlefield because it's not my turn, apparently. Which I did not get. Maybe that's be my turn in the battle, I guess? Does that make sense? My ship! My beautiful ship! No! The maniacs, they blew it up! Alright, it's my turn. So... Aha! I figured it out. I think. I think I'm slowly figuring this out. Charge! There we go. This is actually kind of cool. So these legionaries are gonna defend still. These guys are gonna start moving on and kicking ass. Yeah, eat shit, you dorks. Charge. Now we're cooking with gas. My legion. That's what you're trying. Is this glitching out, or are they moving units that I uh, can't see? turn. I'd love it if my opponent would do something. Oh, did that just do it? Alright, here we go. There it is. Another stunning victory. 
Hell yeah. God damn. Okay, let's heal up everybody. Okay. That was uh <laughs> quite unexpected. Holy shit. All right, and I think the time has come for the uh, counteroffensive, but that'll have to wait till next week cuz uh, I think we're going to call it here. Alrighty, so thank you everyone so much for joining me here today on Humankind. That went a lot better than last time, tell you what. But even though today is done, the streaming don't stop. We'll be back maybe on Monday. There is a small chance we're still organizing this, but I'd love to play Diablo 2 Resurrected with Eckhart's Ladder, Star Wars Explained, Corey Loses, The Family Bovine. Those folks, if you're familiar with them. I'd love to do Diablo 2 on Monday, so keep an eye out. Who knows if it's going to happen. If it does, we'll announce it on Discord and or Twitter, so follow us there if you haven't already. Then, Wednesday, we continue our Skarsnik campaign in Total War Warhammer 2. That's going pretty well. We're fighting Jorbs, fighting Skaven, fighting lots of folks. Then, on Friday, we continue our Freelancer campaign. Sorry we didn't get to do that stream yesterday, but it was a rough day. But then, one week today... We counterattack San Lorenzo and add a new port city to the Soviet Union. Un uh, Soviet Union. So that's happening then. But before we jump off, is there anybody streaming who we can raid? Let's see. Oh yeah, Mordred Viking. Actually, the Blunderdome is playing Splitgate. What the hell is Splitgate? I don't know what Splitgate is, but the Blunderdome is streaming it. So let's uh, wake them up. Alrighty, so make sure to spam emotes. You know the drill by now. And uh, as soon as the raid kicks off, we'll end it here. Oh, split gate is Halo meets Portal, says Algol. Well, cool. Alrighty. Ah, so thanks one more time for being here, folks, and uh, we'll catch you next week.